Like many of you, I've been reflecting on 2019, and what I've come to realize is that it was by far my worst year yet. Um, it was absolutely a year that that I had so many failures, so many roadblocks, wasted opportunities, you know, misinvestments into marketing and things in my business that should have taken off or gone somewhere that just simply didn't. Um, I'm in the residential real estate space, so. There are many times this year where I simply lost out to competition. You know, I was, I, they handed it to me. They kicked my butt. Um, you know, I, whether it was a listing that I wanted to represent in the marketplace or maybe a buyer that I had a great relationship with, for whatever reason, it didn't materialize. Um, in many of those cases, I had a better connection. I had m maybe more qualifications or, or a cleaner, better performing marketing program. Um, can't explain why that was. And because of those things, that's why I call it the best, the worst year actually yet. Um, that being said, it's also the best year I've ever had. Um, I have learned so much from my mistakes. I have practiced harder. It's forced me to focus, be disciplined and true to myself. Um, it taught me perseverance and, and staying positive when really there's no reason to, but that's all I had to hang on to. So I did it and you know, I'm, I'm better for that. You know, one of the other things, um, we're here in Sarasota, Florida, close to the Gulf of Mexico, on the Gulf of Mexico. And so there's a, here's a boating reference. If you can imagine, you know, an anchor, you know, that's, that's really kind of my battle cry is setting that anchor. You've got the line that runs up to the boat. And if there's a storm on the surface, maybe the boat's being battered and beaten by the waves and the wind. Um, but as long as that anchor holds, chances are everything's going to be okay. That being said, that's what I had to do. I, I set my anchor in what I knew to be true. Um, number one, my faith. And you know, number two, myself and my own abilities as well as the, the plan that I had set in, in, into place, the process. I had to trust the process. Uh, and I'm not talking about, you know, poor me, I made a, a million dollars in revenue and you know, boohoo, I lost a couple things, I gained, but I'm gonna be fine. I'm talking about things that there is nothing to show for it. Um, investments into marketing initiatives that just evaporated, they're gone, there's nothing there. Uh, missed opportunities, opportunity costs, whatever whatever it is, um, you know, these are tough, tough lessons and hard things to, to absorb. And I had to reset many times. Um, so now my plans are set, my vision is clear, and it's not because tomorrow is a new day a new month, a new year, and a new decade, all in that 24 hour period coming up. Um, it has nothing to do with that really, because like I said, many times throughout the year, I've reset and um, you know, I had to scrap parts or portions or maybe all of a certain aspect of my business. I didn't throw everything out, but many times I had to start fresh and, and with a clean perspective. And um, you know, so here I am wishing you, you know, a happy 2020. Um, all the health and success and prosperity that, that you could ask for. Um, and if you're like me and you're growth minded, I hope that um, you know it's your worst year ever, which also will make it your greatest year yet. So cheers.